Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a very nice weekend, enjoyed the lovely weather, and are all safe and healthy this morning. We're going to start out with the core practice. So if you could find a spot to sit comfortably, close your eyes, and take deep breaths. Okay. Um, gratitude today. Uh, I am grateful that today and tomorrow I get to go over to school and hopefully maybe see some of you, wave to some of you as you return your stuff and get your stuff from school. So I'm really grateful that I get to do that and hopefully see a lot of you. So today's book is by the same author as Friday's book. Remember the one about don't take a piano to the beach? But this one is called if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. <laughs> These are funny books. If you see a poster that says, you can do anything at the library, it means that you can sit and read a book and use your imagination. It does not mean you can bring a whole circus. If you set up your circus anyway, the librarian will remind you, don't let it get too noisy. You'll tell them that it's okay and that you know all the library rules. This circus will be safe and fun and you'll only use your inside voice. Cross your heart. You'll start by wowing the crowd as an acrobat. You'll leap and twirl and balance on one foot. Then you'll do it again, only this time on a high wire. You'll leap. and twirl. And you'll tell the audience to please hold their applause because you can do anything at the library except clap. Next up, your clown act. You'll ask for a volunteer from the audience to smash a pie in your face. You'll give your silliest look and she'll wind up. That's when you'll surprise her with your spare. You'll have to remind the audience not to cheer. This is a library after all, and you can do anything at the library, except clap and cheer. At intermission, you'll hand out concessions Peanuts, popcorn, egg and cheese sandwiches. Only get this. It turns out you can do anything at the library except clap and cheer and hand out concessions. No food or drink. All right, you didn't want to do this, but you'll have no choice. You have got to dazzle this crowd and you'll do as you'll do it as the amazing human cannonball. You'll clip on your helmet and warn everyone to stay back. Then you'll count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just so you know, if your cannon is a dud, you'll hear a kid say, boo. You'll start to shush him because 
You can do anything at the library. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. By now, of course, you wish you were sitting and reading and using your imagination instead of leading a circus. By now, you'd rather be scraping gum off of some chairs than leading a circus. You'll have to think of something quick before the crowd yells for you to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Look for a way to distract them. You'll read about the three billy goats and the booing will stop. You'll read about the hungry old troll and the smiling will start. You'll begin shouting, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And... Ba-boom! Uh-oh. Cannon worked. <laughs> ah, uh oh. Yikes. But everybody cheers. Yay! Shh. That's when you know it's time to take your show on the road. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. It's way too noisy. And that's the end. So I hope you like that one as much as the one about the piano at the beach. I like this author. She's funny. All right. So hopefully I'll see some of you today or tomorrow when you come to get your stuff and um, drop off your books. So um, hopefully I'll see you later. Have a good day.